dear friends in Christ, welcome once again to another episode of the journey through apostolic succession. CCC 85, the task of giving an authentic interpretation of the word of God, whether in its written form or in the form of tradition, has been entrusted to the living teaching office of the church alone. Its authority in this matter is exercised in the name of Jesus Christ. This means that the task of interpretation has been entrusted to the bishops in communion with the successor of Peter, the Bishop of Rome. So today, let's know about our 126th Pope, Pope Leo. Pope Leo was handpicked by the ruler of Rome, Alberic II of Spoleto, prince and senator of the Romans. Alberic was running all things in Rome, including the papacy. Pope Leo VII, who is believed to have been a Benedictine monk and who served as a priest of Rome's San Sisto Vecchio Church, was chosen on January the 3rd, 936. He had little ambition towards the papacy, but consented under pressure. He is known both as a peacemaker and as a stimulator of spiritual revival. Pope Leo VII was mostly concerned with keeping the peace between various rulers in the area and with monastery reforms in France. Pope Leo VII granted privileges to various monasteries, especially to Cluny. He sent for Saint Odo, the abbot of Cluny, to help bring peace to war-torn Italy. He also gave his old home where he had been born to be a monastery in honor of Our Lady. To this day, the monastery of Our Lady on the Aventine survives as a memorial to the piety of Prince Alberic II. Pope Leo VII assisted Henry the Fowler and his son Otto in their monumental repair work in Germany. In order to reform the clergy, he designated Frederick the Archbishop of Mainz as his legate over the entirety of Germany. He forbade the overzealous German from forcefully baptizing Jews, he, but he was old enough to let Frederick excel the Jews from city if they refused to accept baptism. Pope Leo VII died 13 July 939. Pope Leo VII is buried in the Basilica of St. Peter. He was succeeded by Stephen VIII. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening. And as always, please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word to everyone around you. For Christ and for the Church, God bless you all.